ShireSociety.com. So, you lived in Yugoslavia. Oh, no, I didn't live there. I visited. I wasn't there for very long. Yeah. I didn't go very close to the line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although I had a friend who said, I said to, to her, um, uh, I said, is there a place I can go to get some good shots of destroyed buildings without getting shot? Ooh. And she said, there is no such place. Yeah. There was no real front line, at least not at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I didn't, no, I didn't really hear that much shooting. No one shot at me. Everyone was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to explain that place. Yeah. Maybe the best way to explain it is it's a place that's really nice, but it actually is, it has to be ruled from outside. It just totally fell apart, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Now, do you, would you say that when it was under Tito in Yugoslavia that it was a success? Partial success. Partial success. Yeah. But it was like the U.S. in many ways that they spent a lot of money they didn't really have and it was artificial. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, 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 do you think that they were... Um, That's the right word. I, I just remember learning and reading about how a large number of uh, Yugoslavians and people from that part of the world were very uh, left of center and had been part of the, um, um, the Spanish um, International Brigade during the Spanish Civil War. Planes continue to fly overhead, still carrying on their mission. And that after the war, many, you know, when they lost, of course, to Franco, Hitler, and Mussolini, they um, dispersed and returned back to, um, to Yugoslavia. And, of course, Tito and some of, many of them, a huge number of his forces were the, the partisans who had uh, fought in, um, in, in the Spanish That's Civil War. That's interesting. I didn't know there was that much of a link. But and the Spanish then, Civil War is very similar to the Yugoslavia then War. Then after yeah. the Spanish Civil War, um, the American side, the Abraham Lincoln Brigade, who were left of center, socialist, communist, etc., and were branded as, what's the word, premature fascists, I believe is what the term was. Premature fascists. In other words, they, they turned against fascism too early. <laughs> I guess that's premature. Premature anti-fascists. Pre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre, they were premature anti-fascists. Oh, yeah, well, a lot of my heroes were in that. Um, yeah. but, but during World War II, a sizable number of them were used as part of the OSS to to make contact and yeah. connection with the Yugoslavian partisans. Right. So that well, yeah, the, that was one of the problems is the Yugoslav partisans were overrated because they had the secret communists from mm -hmm. I guess were oh, in contact with the, that's my yeah, understanding. Yeah, anyway. that's, that that that's, that that's another factor yeah. that I didn't take into account. Right. But my mm -hmm. point is, is that that this was a whole left of center movement. Mm -hmm. So maybe you guys are wrong. Maybe you should be going the other way. Maybe you should be really thinking of yourselves as, uh, a, a, you know. Uh, forsaking these selfish libertarian uh, 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 goals and, and adopting more uh, uh, an anarchistic well, <laughs> left of center well, in terms of I mean left and right uh, uh, you know I'm right, having right fun and, actually I am yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, uh, worried about right, what's right, going I'm worried what's this going to be <laughs> but, yeah. the right wingers in New Hampshire though if you think about it have been very supportive and helpful to a large extent, and left-wingers tend to have been hostile towards us. And so that's one reason why you're seeing such a flood of free staters into the Republican Party, and they're not really as, as involved with the Democrat Party because they get so mistreated, they feel. Well, <laughs> oh, couldn't that also be because you saw an opening in a disorganized Republican Party and said, oh, here's an opportunity for know. us okay. to might, quickly gain so uh, a voice yeah. and uh, some semblance of control and influence over a political party. I mean, had this been 25, 30 years ago when the Republicans were the, 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 the leaders of the state, then at that time you probably would have gone the other way. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, don't I think, think, I, think I, I mean, you know, for people like me who are paranoid, you know, s 
individuals who say, aha, they're just, they're just exploiting the weakness of the Republican Party by taking control of its operations. When the, when the whole thing started, the Republican aha, Party... When it started, the party was, appeared to be strong, you know, and it was also supportive. Um, but, of course, it, it weakened substantially after we moved here. So, yeah. you know. Oh, you don't think it had been weakening for a number of times? I mean, but it was Bush with, more than anything else. Know, mm, Bush and Romney. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't think mm -hmm. Benson had something to do with it? Yeah, I think he had you some know, of the... It was a sense of control. I mean, it was like, you know, you know I'm, I'm the CEO, do it my way, or take the highway. And actually, there were a lot of Republican reps who were saying, no, no, that's not, that's not exactly the well, way I don't, we do things yeah, in Yeah, because a Republican rep says something doesn't yeah. <laughs> doesn't make it so they're all politicians. Uh, no, we're not. We're not, we're just we're uh, we're friends of the people. You're we're closer the, to being that than most politicians. We're neighbors. I'll we're, give you that. Uh, we're the locals. We're yeah. you know we're um, we're here to, to you know I mean there are guys who uh, uh, who are representatives here who. Who, who work hard, who come in five, six, seven days a week, uh, yep. spend lots of hours, and, uh, and it's all gratis. It's all volunteer work. It's just, uh, it's, they're not the enemy. Not automatically. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at shiresociety.com.